<laughs> now arriving at Las Vegas Convention Center Station. And we're back. All right, first video of the year, CES, Las Vegas. Happy New Year, we're here. I'm back this year again with this guy right here. DJ Control, it's the homie right there. A lot of new tech, everybody says it's gonna be uh, 8K TVs everywhere, so I'm not really excited about that because there's really nothing that broadcasts in 8K, so why do we care about that that much? But uh, let's go see. That's a lot of TVs. Alright guys, we've got a special treat here. Yeah, we, go ahead. A, we in the LG booth right here where they have this prototype uh, self-driving TV having, refrigerator having. You're gonna see. Thank you. <laughs> you can you sit ready? there if you'd like. If you want to sit there, I mean we sure. still got some you can sit. If you wanna sit in here too. This is Sherry. Right? Right. There you go. Well, Sherry, right. say hi. Hi! Very behind our, our whole LG situation. You can see anywhere is home, right? You're interacting with your with your home in, in all these unique ways. It knows you're using LG to think you, knows your preferences, knows what you like, knows your schedule. In this case, maybe you're going out to dinner with friends. The vehicle will show up to your to your house or your business, wherever you're located at. You walk up to the front. This is right now in the sort of a ride share configuration. You walk up to the front, you scan your face, and there's a camera on the outside there, there's facial recognition. The first thing you'll notice when you get in here is that you're not directly facing the person across from you, right? You're at a little bit of an angle, 15 degree angle. That helps kind of break that awkward staring at a stranger that you get sometimes. <laughs> Economy seats, and they got the <laughs> they got the luxury seats. It feels right. So how do we get the short end of this thing? I want that seat over there. They have air conditioning. That was pretty cool. So when do we get those here in the U.S.? Because I'm trying to order. We need it. We you want one too? Jeep booth was huge. Like I said, lots of AK TVs. Um, it's kind of cool to see their roll-up TV though, they, that, that one they had last year, the one single roll-up TV. I saw um, somewhere else that they have a, a roll-down TV now, like they're trying to mount it on the ceiling and have it roll down, which I didn't see yet. I think we're going to venture into Panasonic right now. I got control capture content. Those little screens are like flimsy and bendable. You see that Sony O right there? I think that's the Sony O. Off to the Sony booth. Okay. Yo, lately, all of my Sony products, all of them, all of my Sony products, I just don't really like. I don't really, I'm getting flat tires from the guy right here, Control. I don't really mess with Samsung like that anymore. Like, I don't, their smart home stuff, I have a lot of problems with. The TVs, their smart TV stuff, all the software programming just kind of like, meh. They got a big booth though. That's a huge booth, bro.
that car was super cool at Sony. Um, you can see all the screens and stuff like that. So obviously there were so many people around you couldn't really get a good picture. But where were the, all the camera stuff? I didn't see anything. We went around and around and around and around and I couldn't, I don't know. I don't know. What? Think about food. We left the house and he was like, did you eat lunch? I'm hungry. And that's all you can be Oh, look, look, look. That's pretty cool. It literally follows you, like it has the demeanor of like a pet. It like follows you around. When you stop, it stops. It moves. When you move, it moves. We need to get him one of those, like a pet, so I can follow him around. One, two, three, GoPro, 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 GoPro. I like it. I'm seeing a couple GoPros up there right now too. So what are you guys all here to do today? Win? Get free stuff. You want to watch me shake? I guess. Pull out of myself in front of everyone. You want to take this back, the Hero Eight? All right, made it to the next hall. I'm, I mean, they're getting ready to close for this day run right here, so we're not gonna be able to get too much in, but gotta stop by Sure. Gotta thank Sure, of course. Who's the captain? Yeah. You guys My guy, work? Nelson. What up? What's going on, baby? How you feeling? Hey, aren't you that guy? Hey, I'm that guy. <laughs> Champ, baby. I was telling him about earlier that you thought that... Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Control. What's, What's up, going man? on, buddy? Chan, nice to meet you too. I was talking about earlier that there was a guy you thought that it was him at the booth. Dude, it was. <laughs> it was literally spitting image of you, dog. I was like, yo, didn't you DJ at the Cosmo? He's like, nah, it wasn't me. I'm like, is this Trying to like, Yo, play it off. I don't understand, but I, have, I must have one of those faces where I look like everybody, or I'm just a really blank, generic face, because I get that all the time. He, he looks like everybody. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> all right. So the atmosphere the technology, remote. you're putting it on, and it gets the frequencies of everything surrounding you. Uh -huh. You put on the headphones. It's like we're talking face to face, but you got the headphones on, so you never leave. Awesome. I got your boarding passes right here. I'm Captain Chan. Oh, sure, boy. got the boarding passes laminated, baby. Oh, <laughs> laminated. Lord. So here's yours. Right. This here's is yours. this is first class, right? Flight first class. Okay, baby blue is first class, right? Thank you. Is this A1? Uh, the right gear pad on the rear of that. Uh, oh man, turbulence. <laughs> you shout out turbulence. That's absolutely Yo. like we How do I look? So. The new Sure cord cordless, I say cordless. <laughs> true wireless. The new Sure True Wireless, look at those. They look pretty cool. Right there. Oh yeah. All right, that's it. Those Sure headphones sounded really, really good. I'm gonna have to get a pair of those. That's it for CES day one. We're uh, on our way out of here. It's already dark, so probably hard to see right now. So yeah. Literally, literally the mad dash for the buses, shuttle buses to get everybody out of here. It's crazy. How was day one? Day one, dude. Well, day, this is day, this is day, <laughs> this is all his day. days. This is all his days. That's enough. I don't know. I could come back, but I don't think so. This is just day one. <laughs> All right, day two, uh, it's the next day. We out here at the CES show again, 2020. Um, some things I didn't get to see yesterday, so here I am. Man, you can see this. But what I'm told Still lots of people in line. It's packed, of course, it's packed. A couple things I wanna to see today, I wanna to try and get to 
the camera stuff. I didn't really see any camera stuff out here. I was at Nikon, obviously. Stopped in the Nikon. Uh, stopped in the Canon. Saw their new 1DX Mark III. That thing is a tank. Sony, I didn't see any camera stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know if I didn't make it, make it to the right part of the booth. Maybe I don't know. So we'll have to see. Insta 361. I think I saw around the corner. I'm gonna go check that out. Apparently that right there is some interactive dance thing where you see the little footsteps Just changes the way the lights react or something like that. Seattle. Interesting. Blue. We're really not past those hoverboards people. Like it just, I don't get it. I really don't understand. I mean, I rode them before you automatically get the balance real quickly if you have any balance in your life. And but the, like when somebody's rolling down the street like like at three miles an hour at three miles an hour like you're not going anywhere fast just walk So I ventured into the Samsung city just to see just to kind of see what they have this is a city It's like an entire city in here. I Feel like everybody copied the GoPro colors this year. I don't know well, let's take a look. Now that I like. TV when you're using it, it's just art when you're not watching TV. The little yellow ball guy, I mean, that could be really cool for like a, a pet or something like that, which I have. Keep them entertained when I'm out of the house for long hours. And that smart home setup though, I absolutely hate Samsung's smart home setup. It's like, I don't even, I don't even want to vent on this. All right, the other day, I uh, walked by the Delta Airlines booth and saw the exoskeleton thing with, you know, like it's like the aliens and you know, they're like in this like metal suit that helps you like walk and lift and whatever. But my friend said that I have to go check out the actual experience inside the Delta Airlines booth and uh, look, look at this. You see this lovely lady's face right now? She's in shock at how light it is. I get to try it next. Okay, here we go. All right, come on in. So I'm standing aside. First of all, we need to align your hand with the robot hand. So it's gonna lift you up a little bit. Perfect. So what happens when you're 6'2". <laughs> all right. First of all, before we can let you feel what it's like to be in the XO, you gotta let you feel what it's like to try to move that hand. Okay. So, okay. Pull the handle, pull the trigger. Press the trigger? Yeah, pull the trigger in, and this is you moving that 50 pound bag. So, let me know how that feels. It feels like a ton. It's a good swing. That's, That's good. That's 50 pounds or the whole arm? Like the bag, the okay, I was like, this whole that bag. I was like, I've never struggled that that in my well, life. I got some weights in there. You yeah. Just put yeah. Weights in the <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is no joke. <laughs> okay. So I let go of the trigger. Let go of the trigger. Uh -huh. Bring your arm up. Put it on your chest like this. That arm up and put it on my. Release that. So let go of the trigger. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. There you go. Okay. I don't, I don't take instructions very well, obviously. All right. All right, you're good to go. So this time, when you grip it, I want you to just use two fingers and a thumb. Uh -huh. It's a really light touch. Okay. And when you move it, so pull the trigger in. Mm -hmm. Now don't think about lifting. Just think about moving your arm in space. Okay. Wow. 
That's crazy. He made the same face as the other lady. <laughs> Did I really? I'm gonna go be able to go back and see though. <laughs> yeah, so now you're not lifting the weight. The robot's lifting the weight. You're right. just steering it in space. Right. So when I was like four, I really thought I was uh, gonna be able to get into one of those alien suits like in Aliens. Well, next year. And fight an alien. Yeah. So this is about as close as I'm gonna get right now? Yeah. Are they using these already? So we're gonna be using these with Delta in their facilities this spring. Uh -huh. So starting in a couple of weeks, we're gonna, they're gonna have Alpha units and their employees are gonna be able to use them, do some tasks there, and we can really work with them to figure out how to do that best, you know, what, what end effect is they need, right. what training works best. Right? Gotcha. And in just a second, he's coming out off of our exopod. Uh, so he's going to walk out, he's going to introduce himself and talk to us about what we're going to see here today. Hello everyone, my name's Ben, I'm an engineer here at Sarkos, and as you can see, I'll be the operator here today. Because this uh, powered exoskeleton is a full body exoskeleton, which means that it supports 100% of its own weight as I move around. And so I don't feel that weight on the operator. I have free mobility. I can walk around as I would normally. I can sidestep, walk backwards, move around however I would need to in order to accomplish anything that I need to do. Imagine as if the landing gear on an airplane was just repaired or had maintenance, and the tire needs to be lifted back up onto the axle to reinstall. Now, the tire is 130 pounds, which means that it would normally be a team lift of multiple people all working together to lift this tire up to the right height. Yo, so big shout out to Sarkos for doing that demonstration for me. That was crazy. So what I just got explained is uh, Sarkos is the robotics company that does the exoskeleton for Delta Airlines. And man, that demonstration was so cool. Being able to pick up that luggage, it was like better weight, stupid light. It's ridiculous. Photo of just the suite or you want to be in it? No, I'm going to get inside it. Okay. We also have our, are you with media? Okay. We have an 18.5 inch touchscreen television here, uh -huh. um, and then with the touchscreen, we also have the ability to have our retractable remote control here and mirror, so you can keep yourself pretty throughout the entire. And a mirror. Life. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, it is a real. Yeah, look at that thing. It's a real mirror. Now, when you are <laughs> flying, is. have you tried to eat and work at the same time? It's impossible. It's impossible. So what your camera is sitting on right now is all this work surface. A lot of people put their laptops there. Yeah. And they're able to charge it on two inter international outlets there with USB ports as well. Gotcha. Now let's say how you're going to eat. You have a retractable tray table here, which is a single leaf tray table. It's very sturdy uh -huh. and customizable for your comfort. Nice. So you can have your food out here and you can have your laptop there simultaneously at the same time. Right. So you can enjoy your meal and work. You can sit comfortably in this seat if you are 6'4". Oh wow. Yeah. So now, now I'm, my feet are at the back. Okay, perfect. Yeah. There's a lot of headroom that you can go into. So. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. You're 100% lie flat. <laughs> I'm 100% down. Privacy door here. If I'm standing in the aisle, I can't see you and you can't see me. Alright, nearing closing time here at CES. I'm trying to, I, I was unsuccessful in finding like camera gear. There's really not like a lot, I, I get it, it's not a camera based or a uh, video photo based, whatever, but technology, I mean, all the cameras and augmented reality, all the cameras, security cameras that are recording smart home stuff, you would think that the bigger camera companies would be here showing cameras. Sony didn't show any camera stuff. Yeah, I, I would have thought they would have showed more, you know, like more camera. Whoa, I almost crashed into that. Just gonna make it by a DJ. I, I literally just found out DJI is in this other hall that I was already in, so here I am again to try and, to try and find that, and I still can't find it. Yeah, and you get, you get a five year I actually see DJI back there.
it's always funny to see people do this a a AI or augmented reality or whatever it's called. Because, <laughs> like, you know, they're, they're doing nothing to the air. That's a wrap, CES 2020. My favorite thing about CES 2020 was meeting this guy. What up, y'all? Chan, how you going? It's all right, man. How's it going? It's all right. We just closed out the Sure. What season was that that you were actually in? Uh, season 18. Season 18. Tune in January or February. I'm not sure, but it's one of those. Well, I'm sure you guys recognize. You, you guys recognize. You, got, you know the vibe. You, you got Chan. <laughs> so what? So what did you like here the best? You know, I went through a couple demos, and I really like these Sure headphones. This is what I was demoing all week. They're great. They're scheduled to uh, launch in April 2020. So yeah, check us out, Sure.com, and also Amazon Prime. Captain Chan. Captain Chan, baby. <laughs> oh my guy, Chan Fuse. That dude like seven feet tall. Like, I'm 6'2", I'm not short. All right, that's really a wrap for CES 2020. I'm going right here. Ain't nobody. All right, so what I liked about CES 2020. Man, I think that, uh, I don't know if it was just because it was today, but I got like a VIP tour at the Delta Airlines booth. I actually didn't get to see their holographic. They have like a holographic technology that they're about to implement in, uh, in Detroit, they told me, where basically it sees you and knows you and knows your boarding information, any flight delays, all that stuff kind of follows you around the airport. They told me you could be looking at the same screen as some the next guy. He's only gonna see what he's seeing as far as his information. You're only gonna see what you're seeing as far as your information, which is kind of cool. But the exoskeleton thing, you know, with the, the cargo carrier guys, and um, you can change tires and the whole nine with the, like you were like, literally fighting the aliens. That I think was probably my favorite thing in the entire show. All the big booths, so LG, Samsung, Panasonic, uh, TCL, which is on the rise. I'm trying to think of what, who else had a big, huge booth. DJI had a pretty big booth too, but there was nothing new there. I thought they would make like a, D, uh, a drone announcement, but nope, nothing. I'm trying to think of what other TV companies that were out there. Sony had a huge booth too. Um, it was AK everything, but like AK, like, who, all right, if you bought an AK TV, great. You spent like $5,000 or more, and what are you streaming on it? So AK, AK is AK. It was everywhere, but as far as this other stuff that I saw, it was pretty cool. Went by a bunch of booths at CES that were all robotics driven. Like you saw the arms and stuff. LG had a really cool like uh, uh, robotic arm that was like washing dishes. You guys gotta watch out. Like people better be educated into the future because you know all the regular you know um, just like labor driven tasks, those jobs are going to be taken over by robots. But robotics at the show was a pretty big one. Samsung had that little ball, that little pet ball thing that I liked. What I can see it for is like maybe keeping your pet um, you know occupied so that your pet doesn't like destroy stuff at your house. It, it was like they call it a smart. I don't even know what they call this smart something, and uh, basically it like follows you around the house it knows what's going around your house what's going on around your house it, you know you can like at certain times it will you know change the settings of your house and that kind of stuff i think all in all you know robotics and smart technology was kind of where everything went uh, uh this year at ces oh one more thing one of the better things i saw at the show was that lg uh it was like a like a luxury uber car service it had like a little mini dry cleaner that would clean your jacket off in the in the car they had tv screens you can order snacks and all that kind of stuff and it would come to your house and pick you up that was one of the cooler things that I also saw at CES. But all in all, smart home technology, robotics, you know, the, the guys playing the ping pong, you know, with the machine and stuff like that. Um, nothing super crazy. I didn't see any regular, I didn't see any crazy new cameras or anything like that, but concept cars, obviously. Oh, you know, the thing that I didn't see was the EV Mustang, the, the Ford electric vehicle Mustang. I, I don't, where was that at? I don't, I don't even know what happened. But yeah, all in all, CES was a good show. It was fun. I wouldn't. I, I would say that I had fun there, but that's like Nerd Alert Central and all that, you know. I, mean, I think a lot of us that like the tech stuff, um, we enjoy this kind of stuff. Outside of that, AKTVs. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be it. Joseph Get right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you for subscribing, liking, comment if you would. Please, thank you. We appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you at the next one.